Ladies and gentlemen, the stage is set and after an amazing first episode, we are live here for Monday Night YouTube here in Montreal, Canada. Welcome, my name is The Gaming Blake and welcome to episode number two of World YouTube Wrestling. And here we are seeing the birth of a new named character. Not a new character, a new name, El Kurakan. And the reason this name came about is because basically there were colliding names as a new superstar came into the ring. And basically, Travis wanted to embrace his luchador side. He wanted to become more like a luchador, so now he is what is Spanish for the Hurricane. I know the Hurricane's already a wrestler, but you know what? It doesn't matter. That's the name that he was happy with. So let's hope. Let's hope that you guys like that, because if you guys didn't like that, that would be a bit weird, you know? But if not, that is his name. El Hurricán is his new name. Who will he be taking on tonight? Tonight, he is in a two-on-one handicap match. It is himself versus Jelly and Matt the Cat. And first coming out to the ring is Jelly. We saw him in that opening match, losing, of course. And now he'll be looking to get some victory here today. He'll be teaming up with Matt the Cat, of course, who he lost against in the um, in the tournament triple threat but Matt of course also lost and here comes Matt the Cat coming out now These it's 2 on 1, they have the upper hand it is clear to say but the question is can they win together and get their first win for one of these sides it will be their first win in World YouTube Wrestling the question is who is it going to be and how are they going to do when the pressure comes on. Here we go. Thank Match number one tonight, gets we underway. An and whilst this is underway, yeah. let me talk you through the rest of the card for this evening. So this is obviously match number one. Two on, two on one handicap. El Hurricane versus Jelly and Matt the Cat in a two on one handicap match. Next, we have the first ever World YouTube Wrestling official tag team competing so in a tag team matchup tonight with two people that you've already met. Event. It's Alpha Landon and Chris WWE. Danger teaming up tonight to take on the, uh, the brand new tag team, which will be announced Absolutely straight after this in match number two. WWE. Match Even number that, three, if I can remember who it is, oh, let me just quickly just try and remember ring. while this is going on. Jelly going to make an early tag here. It's two on one, they have the advantage, they have the fresh legs, and El Hurricane will have to get past two of them. Match number three, the World YouTube Wrestling Champion will be in action against Ryan Austin and one other new wrestler in a triple threat match. And that should be an interesting one to see, and King Sam will be looking to get some early momentum going into Bus Buffer Festival as tonight the semi-final of the tournament kicks off in the two main event fights of the evening. Firstly, it will be El Murica versus Lanky Steve, which, which will then, then be followed by the last fight of the night, my character, Blake Austin versus David. It should be one hell of a night, but we are kicking off here again uh, with El Hurricane fighting against two of them. And Matt Cat seems to be doing very well by himself. He decides to tag in Jelly and backs off. So basically right now, we've got this two on one handicap and we also have the tag team match. We're looking for people who can work well together this because at Buffer Festival, the no first ever okay, World YouTube Wrestling Tag Team Championship will be put on the line. The question is, who will walk out the winner? That is completely down to who works well as a tag team. We already have one person, uh, one team coming out as a team, and they've joined YouTube Wrestling as a team. So we the shall see who, uh, uh, how good There's they are together and to whether they're the contenders are because there are loads of people that can work well together. We have the first cover here. And quickly out is El Hurricane. We have some people to work together, but I want you guys to let me know what we'll do you want some teams there. to be you're called. Um, Alpha Landing, Chris health. Danger, of course, not necessarily a tag team. They were Today, against each fast. other in the very first match against um, oh, in the triple threat against each other. And Lanky Steve was it? Who came tag. out on top? No, David came out on top of that one. And of course, David gonna. Uh, be fighting against Blake tonight this could for a spot huge. in the finals of the tournament. But they need to now look to the future. The World this YouTube Wrestling title might be a bit out of reach for now while the tournament's going on and people are competing and proving themselves. So maybe they should be looking to the tag division. If you want to see that tag team happen, let, let me know in the comments. And also, if we can reach five likes for this video, that will be awesome. Subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff because I'll tell you, this is a popular series that's proven in the first episode. Now focusing in on this fight, El Hurricane starting to do some damage now. 
and the size of El Hurricane, he looks very, very strong. And plus, match with the acrobatic display that he's showing, he's face here. he is really going to be a favorite, he's I'd imagine. But he does not want to go zero for two, which is what oh, no. Matt the Cat and Jelly also are at risk of doing if they cannot pull a win here when the odds are in their favor. Oh, boy, he's really done his homework Big for leg this sweeper match. there. And a cover from El Hurricane. Jelly shot for a tag. Oh, and it's a two and a half count. Very close to a three there. So what else is going on tonight? So King really Sam in action. Very big fight for him. He's going to want to get some momentum. Win, he won the first fight in the Fatal 4-Way. Can he win in the triple threat against two people who actually... Well, one that's actually lost in the tournament. So will not be facing him at Buffer Festival. And a new superstar who will want to make a name for himself by turning around and say, on my first fight, I beat the champion. So it'd be interesting to see that one. It'd be an interesting triple threat. Oh, it, there it is. Two. Matt the Cat's finishing move, and that could easy be enough. But he's on the ropes. Matt the Cat there he with the, the suplex tag. backbreaker. And now El Hurkan is in trouble as the DDT hey, on Jelly as he is tagged in. And now he he's going to look to try and get Man, some momentum of his bad. own. Look out. Hold on. Oh, here it is again. The STF locked in. This seems to be his go-to move. Is he tapped? He hasn't tapped. He let go. Looked like he got out of that pretty quickly. And then goes for a pin straight away. And it's a zero count. Not even one hand on the map from the referee there. And now Jelly powering out of it. What I want to say, guys, is... Oh, hundred. Big DDT. What I want to say is, thank you guys so much for the support on episode one. It went through the roof. We have a two count here. This could be three. Oh, and that was very close to three. And I think Jelly thought that was three too. But El Hurricane not giving up that easy. Uh, yeah, the you, first episode got 100 views, which is incredible. Never had that before, and that was incredible. Had nearly 20 oh, likes when I asked for 10. It's incredible. If we can keep this spree going, that would be truly fantastic. Thank you guys zero. so much. Oh, as now Jelly, it's El Hurricane on his shoulders. Burton and slams him down. Move and now, this is serious problems for El Hurricane. He's moved away from the ropes. This could be too big of a challenge for him. Was it? It was! El Hurricane goes zero for two, the world's tallest luchador, loses his second fight, this time in handicap action. He had moments where he was in control, but he could not keep it going through the consistent fight. And Jelly and Matt the Cat will have their first ever victories in world YouTube wrestling to kick off the show. A nice quick match there. I don't know how quick that was. That was pretty quick, but it doesn't beat uh, Blake's fight, I can guarantee you that one. But now, we move as we're going into match two, and big disappointment for El Hurricane. Clearly the name wasn't the problem. He now needs to evaluate the situation and see where he can be fit. And now we move on to the first tag team match in World YouTube Wrestling. And now for match number two, the first official tag team match of the series. The question is, who is this mysterious tag team that is entering the scene? Ladies and gentlemen, straight out of Gore and Perkins' YouTube channel, it is Gore and Perkins, and look how dark and deep they look here in the YouTube arena. Look at the darkness and fear that they bring to the ring. Gore in particular looks like a very, very scary character there. And Perkins showing off to all there by the looks of things in their intro. They look very, very menacing. The first official tag team to enter the arena. Question is, are they going to be good enough to get themselves a tag team championship fight at Buff Festival? Only time will tell, but I tell you what, that is one scary motherfucker. Oh, that looks terrifying. And who are facing them today? Two people that, of course, were against each other last week in a triple threat. But this week, we'll be looking to combine forces to win their first ever fight of World YouTube Wrestling. The first man comes down to the ring is Alpha Landon. He had a good showing in the triple threat fight. Of course, he could have gone anyway, but it didn't go his way. And the question is, can he change that and get into winning ways in tonight's match? 
win it in the tag team division. He will be teaming up with someone who will be very disappointed with his first defeat in his first fight, Chris Danger. Chris Danger, of course, known for the YouTube. Uh, from, known by the YouTuber Dan Cox in uh, his My Career series. He's a two time Hall of Famer, really. He's been Hall of Famer several times in several different years, but he loses his first fight. Question is can he be better in the tag team division? And here we go the first ever tag team fight in YouTube wrestling history. Who is going to be the winner? Let's find out the as the ref rings the bell and we are on the way. Between these groups. Punch. Kick there from Alpha Lana, who's off to a He's very good him. start. On the offensive Chuck here. Some turnbuckle. Oh, a well the reversed ass. there by Gore. Gore starting in the ring, and Alpha Lana also starting in the ring. Second time now. The, the triple threat match between Alpha Lana and Chris Danger and David could have gone anyway. It went David's way, and I guess that one extra fight like of experience pairing, was These enough so to give well him the edge the in that one. But that never here. that could mean anything. He could get knocked out in the round, the next round in tonight's technically main event. Of course, it's not. It should be two main events, if anything, because it Another is a joint tag team match. And reverse there, reversal there by Cool. For it, oh, I think this man means big business. slam there. And what's he, he thinking? Tagging in Perkins, smart move. He was under the cush there, and now we get to see the mighty Perkins on the apron. in for the first time. And a big slam. DDT oh, to kick things off. Just moved. Man, and right. now, the what are they thinking of doing? Chris Danger not <laughs> looking very happy on the nice sideline there. there. Of course, a big reputation oh, for wait, someone like Chris Danger reversal. coming into a big series like this. He's going to want to win. He mine. needs to prove himself, and he, of course, hasn't done that. And here we go. Good tag in here. And they look to work together to slam it down on the knee. And that is some good tag team action we're seeing so far here from Gore and Perkins. Two hot tags, bit of tag team action. It's a good start and Uncle Landon's in trouble. An early cover, don't think that's going to do it. But it's a two and a half count and a pretty close two and a half count there, leaving it late. And Gore not giving him a second to get up. Tell you what, that is a very scary character. Perkins kind of looks to me like an average wrestler. Just like an average wrestler, but Gore comes across as a scary creature from another world for my likings there on oh, a big so neck breaker there from Alpha Land who decided not to tag in Chris Danger yeah, um, obviously we're looking for who works well together we're looking for victories otherwise but of course victories don't always tell the story which I feel was the case you in some of the, in the majority of the first fights the person who ended up winning had probably the least amount of control Oh, and what's Gore thinking here? Oh, big reverse RKO there on the top rope. And flips him over the shoulder there. Gore. Yeah, and Cole, is we going to see a tag? No, he's looking to tag in Chris Danger. Yes, he is. Chris Danger in for the first time in this match. What's Chris Danger going to do? Just oh, he's going to get dropped on the knee. There. Uh, that's the starting move there by Gore. Now, Gore probably going to tag in Perkins. He has tagged in Perkins. And that's what I'm liking so far from Gore and Perkins. Quick, hot What's tags. They're not What's messing around. Here? If one of them aren't feeling up to the task, they are getting out of there. And Chris Danger chucking him outside. So Chris Danger, as I've mentioned already, big reputation. Oh, wow. Needs sure to come out with this. some wins. And if he can do them in tag Very team, impressive. it's a great well, place to start. There's no better victory than a tag team victory. Because Not you're doing it with someone you can trust. And it means that you're climbing the ranks. And he's taking this outside the ring. It's no limit. It is. It is a DQ match, of course, but not it's not an elimination tag. So if they are both out of the ring, this will end in a draw. But of course, Perkins starting to get some early momentum at the six count. This could easy go to a count out. Don't know what he's planning. Count to seven. And Perkins back in. Tags in Gore. As He's Chris Danger gets back the into the ring. The I tell you what, I wouldn't want to look at that when I get back into the ring, would you? Well reversed that. by Chris Danger. Who fears no foe. Not Hasn't today, quite got fast. into the danger zone yet. Oh, no. And now, Wait a minute, Cole. What's he gonna do here? big suplex by Gore. Looks a bit more dramatic than it seemed. Drags him into the middle of the ring. Stomps on the, the knee. Best and he's doing... 
light damage considerably, but I'm Look sure that will this. let up. Oh, wait a minute. This could look to end it. Is it enough to put an end to this one? Bloody hell, that looked deadly. A seatbelt back drop from Gore. That could be enough to end it. Danger is in serious trouble. Is Alpha Landon coming to the rescue? No, it's just a kick out at one by Chris Danger. Not enough damage done to him yet. Absolutely Gore not giving DDT him a right second there, WWE to WWE get fans. back giving to his feet, which is really good. No time for Chris Danger to react DDT yet. Oh, try to react. And gets thrown down with a brutal move. Whoa, What's he thinking whoa. here? Oh, hang on. He could be looking for a spear. This could be an, the end of Chris Danger here. He spear. He's out. If he keeps and up, Gore this will be over in no time. looking to end whoa, Chris Danger here. Drags this him to the middle of the ring. I mean, is Alpha Landon going to come in? Cover. Alpha Landon he's is in. And breaks it up at the count of zero. And Gore looks fired oh, up right now. Look at the aggression in his face. Chris nowhere. Danger. Not it's letting him have it. And now, can Chris over. Danger turn the tide? The shoulders are Goes down. for a pin. Two. Is that going to be enough? Oh, it's a two and a half count. And Chris Danger nearly walked away with a quite a considerably easy win there if he had gone through like that. One of these guys is going to walk away with the win here tonight. Chris Danger with some head shots there. One of them also accepting defeat. And tags in Alpha Landon. Smart move. Took some damage in that one. And Alpha Landon will probably look to carry this on for another couple of minutes or so as he punches him straight in the face. Gore, the predominant you, man in this ring so far. To be fair, he has been in majority control, and when he's needed to freshen up, he has tagged in Perkins for a beast. He sure knows how to work well with his partner. Goes for a quick cover here on Alpha Landon. Could be enough. He goes for two, and it's a two count on Alpha Landon. Now what's he going to do here? Tag. He's tagging in Perkins. He said, I'm going to take a breather. And he's playing by the rules as he, he just jumps in with no ring. other attack on him. Someone really should check out. I mean, Big a move like there that from Alpha Landon. And, and now what's he thinking? It before your very the drop yeah, on the face of you, Perkins. But this which, of course, hasn't taken many he's hits from this fight. When he's been in the ring, he's right done here. pretty well. Uh oh, wait a minute. Well, that's a big move there. The Here's finisher the of Alpha Land and the swinging neck breaker. The flying neck breaker as it should be. A big, big move there by Alpha Landon. It did some damage, but of course not going to do enough. And now We're Perkins City, is in serious trouble here. Match. Gore watches on. Kind of emotion, uh, emotionless because you can't really tell what he's, what he's looking like this under that mask. Right here. And what's he thinking here? Big shots. Jumps outside the ring. What's Alpha Landon thinking? No! Oh, interrupted by Gore. Oh, and chucked up and thrown over the shoulder of Gore. And what a save by Gore there to save his opponent. An uppercut on from Alpha Landon there. Now doing some damage on Gore. Perky is coming to back up Gore. Chucks him over his shoulder. Gore is looking really good right now. And again, a nice bit of teamwork displayed by Goran Perkins, oh, who are working move. really, sure really well together. This. And a count of five, so he's both in the ring, but he continues his assault on Gore. Look out. He's got his sights set on that neck region. And that was not the wisest move, well. considering Perkins was waiting for it. Battered. I guess Gore was seriously injured. Yeah, this guy's I guess Gore wasn't ready, but attention. Perkins was ready for the rebound. Oh, wait. We're going to work together here. We're going to chop some back down on that knee. The Quite teamwork from Gorn Perkins has been incredible so far. And a nice move. We've seen that several times in this series already. Dragging him to the middle of the ring. Is that going to be enough to put him away? And Perkins with the cover. One, two. Oh, and it's a two and a half. Chris Danger didn't get there in time. Still injured on the, on the flip side. And, the and it looks like Gore is going to have some words with Chris Danger off camera. Meanwhile, Perkins in the middle of the ring. Reversed by Alpha Landon. Looking at Irish whipping into the corner. And what's he thinking of doing here? He's up to the top corner. Gore still attacking Chris Danger on the opposite side. Hurricane Rana down onto the canvas. And a cover quick. Cover. Alpha Landon knows Gore's outside. He isn't getting inside. But it's only a two count. Chris Danger's inside, though. 
has a cheap little kick there on Perkins before getting back in These the ring. But back out the ring, sorry. The DDT for good measure from Alpha Landon. Who is finally getting some momentum and control in this fight. It looks like he's There's hurt, so he is tagging in Chris Danger. Gore distracting the ref. Big headbutt there. The arena. Big reversal from Chris down. Danger. It's been a really good tag team fight so far. Danger gets him up on his shoulders. And GTS from Chris Danger as he climbs to the top rope. Looking to put this one away. What's he thinking? Ooh. Huge frog splash there from Chris Danger and that could be enough. Cover. Two. Oh, and Gore with the save. That was definitely going to be the three count there. And Gore is now in the ring. Squaring up with Chris Danger and two um, Alpha Land there who is caught in the corner. Whoa, they both left. Up. Now Chris Danger begging him to get up. Alpha, and it looks like Perkins is in some serious trouble here. He looks to crawl back to his corner. Trying to get the tag. Isn't going to get it. Right now, now Chris awesome Danger. All reversal. Right and he's got the tag Gore, in. And now Gore, Gore is friend. in. And he is angry right now. What and can he do there? He's going to do some damage. Chucks him into the turnbuckle. Gets him up. What can you do from here? And DDT's in down from that turnbuckle. And that is a big drop. Perkins is in really early to hit the kit. To stop him from breaking up the pin. Is it enough? It's not. Two and a half count. Chris Danger survives. And Gore is now doing the damage as he has done predominantly in this fight. And Perkins takes him outside. We need to be careful of DQ because that could easy be the end be one end of this fight. Very easy to tick off these referees. And now. He's up on his shoulders. He's delivering Big slam down and Chris right Danger is in it's serious trouble as well. Bringing the punishment. He's going for it again. Oh, wait a minute. He's going for that seatbelt backdrop again. Well, and he's done it. Chris Danger is down. Perkins is a dealing with Alpha Landon outside. Can he so. put it away? He's done it. Beautiful tag team display from Gore and Perkins. And they won the second oh fight of this evening, first tag team match of the evening. They did well together. They worked well together. You can see them doing some tag team moves saw. there. You can see highlight. Gore doing a series of spears there. Oh, well, I say series of spears, just the one spear. You see them working really well. They made hot tags. They used each other to as much as they could. Perkins distracted Alpha Landon outside whilst he did the seatbelt backdrop here, as you see, to end the fight devastating move from Chris Danger and this is the second time that Chris Danger will lose same as Alpha Landon and that's a shame but clearly they worked well together Chris Danger and Chris Danger and Alpha Landon they did okay together but they weren't enough to beat clearly good tag team force of Gore and Perkins they look happy now and I tell you what they are not a tag team to be messed with so will they be going to buff the festival will they be the first tag team champions or will someone else come to join the party and ruin them or we'll find out we'll find out soon with buff festival two weeks away let's move on to see the champion in action And now it's time for match number three, where the champion will be in action against Ryan. And this guy, his name is Travis. Don't be fooled. Nothing to do with Travis slash El Hurricane. That of course, we've already met. His name is Travis, and I'll tell you what, doesn't he look like a different character already? He's got that serious pose on. He's got that serious face. He's got the unitard. He looks like a traditional wrestler. That is what wrestlers should look like if you look him up in the book. And he looks like he is ready to come out and make his World YouTube Wrestling debut live on Monday Night YouTube. Keep calling it Monday Night. It's clearly not. It's the afternoon. But that doesn't matter because this is what time this show is on. And you guys... You guys like the illusion, I guess. And now, coming out to the ring. Here is the champ wearing the belt live for the first time. King Sam, the winner of the Fatal 4-Way that earned him the title. The title looks a little kind of like it's bending in there. 
Uh, don't ask me why. I'm going to try and fix that. I, I don't know why. I've, I've seen that happen once you know, before, but I figured this was like a glitch or something. But it doesn't matter because the world youth wrestling champion makes his presence known for the first time and already knowing he will be the main event fight for Buffer Festival. Is going to put some pressure on his shoulders, but the question is, can he stomach the pressure? Will King Sam win his first fight as World YouTube Wrestling Champion? All will find, all will be found out as we look to the third opponent of the evening, which of course, the brother of the winner of the tournament, well, not the winner of the tournament yet, but uh, a strong contender in the tournament, Ryan Austin. Of course gave his brother a good fight a good show in the running well i say a good show it was a world record fight in this series three minutes it took three minutes flat dead on three minutes for a blake austin to pin him that must be embarrassing for him he wants to show he can do better than that three people who are out to prove themselves for three different reasons we we'll compete now in an extreme rules match, and here we go. It's straight away. King Sam so getting hold of the new wrestler and saying, Welcome to WYW. Oh, King Sam is fired up himself. already. Look at him go. This is how you make a state statement as a champion. He's using these two as an early example to say, Look, I'm the champion. You get out of my house. As he it stomps down on the elbow the of Ryan there. Right, and Travis these two seems don't to attack. Like each other. Gives Ryan a little punch. And then he is suplexed down by King match. Sam, who's I getting some really good early momentum. The but Travis looking to do some damage like on him. No, it's reversed by King Sam. And he is off to a flying start. I've not seen someone make this good of a start before. King Sam is lying. Ignore that. I'm going to try to. Please stop inviting me, people. Hopefully they won't invite me again. Here we go. Back but we carry on as a table is brought in here. Ryan will look the to the outside, try and use ring. weapons as an advantage. Slowed down by the table. But DDT on the flat table here. there is Travis. And now looking to do some damage to the champion. Picked up onto his shoulder. Slam back down. Big There's scoop no up slam there guys, by Ryan Austin. Who, of course, I'd imagine he's angry. If his brother wins the title, I'm sure he's going to be looking to revenge, try and find a way to get himself that title fight. And to be honest, he doesn't look like a character you want to like mess with. He looks like a Cholton hooligan. Not that that exists in reality. Big kick in the back there by King Sam, who's off to a flying start. I was oh, I worried that he might ruin his reputation oh, here tonight, shot. losing to two people. Who one who has never had a fight oh, and the other who lost in three minutes to someone he actually pinned to earn the title. So he had Look a out. point to prove here. He had he has to make light work of these two. And an RKO! An RKO from King Sam and carries on the demolition to a bro kick, a cover, and Ryan's there to stomp it out. And King Sam is flying right now. But he's got back to be suplex, and he is by Ryan. King Sam off to a great start here. I've not seen someone in such clear control to start a fight. Look out, look out. Picks him up on the shoulder. Drops him down. Punches him in the back of the head. And, and King Sam getting some early oh, momentum. Travis has run. been seriously damaged so the far. Oh, and this is a very here. damaging Just submission hold, which Travis says, no now. thank you, this match ain't over. Fancy from him there. And a big drop that there by Travis, Travis, who needs to get going. I get this is his debut, classic. but he's not done much so far. He jumps, he walks onto the uh, middle rope and doesn't do much. King Sam, now being oh, no. attacked by Cole, both and dropped down as he was raised onto the shoulders. Ribs, so the for this new wrestler, we have no now idea who he is. He's got a very here. bright That's color caution. scheme here. Damn has a whole kind of Jack like Swagger vibe going about his, um, his dress sense. Elbows to the face there no of Ryan. Uh, he'll have to assert his dominance in World YouTube Wrestling and he'll have to do it quick. Oh, what a reversal by King Sam there. Grabs him behind. And elbows to the back of the head. King Sam has done really well so far, proving why he is champion. Another cover. He's already done a bro kick. He's already done an RKO. What more does he have left to give to him? He's chucked over the head by Ryan there. 
And now King Sam in a bit of trouble as he's being targeted by both. Looks the suplex him over. Oh! And it's a backbreaker. A suplex backbreaker from Ryan on King Sam. Could be enough. It is isn't. And now King Sam finally taking some damage. I don't know if that was going to be enough to finish it. But it definitely wasn't. He brought him up on the shoulders there, Travis, and drops him down again. Do you know what? I'm actually really impressed with the way King Sam's got off, got off to this. He's done well. He had a little bit of problems. Oh, a, a drop there to break up the pin. And King Sam looks like he's focusing on the job. He's doing damage and then focusing on getting a pinfall, which is very respectable thing to do. The champion has a reputation to uphold. And he needs to get some momentum going in towards Buff Festival. Take. Which, of course, he will be the main event of defending his title for the first ever time in World YouTube Wrestling. And who he will be facing will be decided Great matches, based on the next the matches from this week, couple of matches. Time the tag team move here. Drops action. down on the knee. We saw Goran Perkins do that a couple of times. King Sam going for the pin and I don't think he was prepared for the kick out I'm not quite sure why he did that oh and Travis is not off to a good start here in his wrestling career oh but an RKO an RKO from King Sam and now could be looking to do some more damage here with a spear on Ryan he's already RKO Travis Travis is down oh a flying kick there and that could be enough. This might be it. King wow, Sam covers him, but of course continues. forgets about Travis. He's got to forget here. about that one. Nice and su and suplex there by Travis. Feet, he's getting back in. Like uh, free hit oh, rash cover yeah, there. I don't know like what he's I'll doing. Travis looks a bit out of place. He doesn't look like he has a clue what he is doing. But he now goes to the object, oh, trying to bring, uh, trying to make things really a bit more interesting. The cane back to the head, here. cool it as well. That was pretty sick. Well, I like that, that little yo-yo action wow. there. Oh, and he charged, that. looked to charge up the finish of King Sam, and of course forgot once again about Travis, who is going to suplex him once again. Ryan crawling back to his feet. Travis, for the first Thanks time, the only man everyone. standing, back, but is uh, stopped in the tracks. WWE oh, but Ryan is now watching him suplex the champion. Man. Big suplex. On back. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Man. Now Ryan's going to suplex him. He does. Like Throws him over the shoulder with a huge suplex. And this has been a great fight so far. I'm thoroughly entertained by all of the fights strike. I've seen so far. Hasn't been one fight that's disappointed me as of yet. And now Ryan with a big slam down. As this guy. Now all what's he thinking? Only man in the ring. Picks bigger up the cue. Puts down the cue. Steps outside. Maybe looking for a more... Uh, uh, more damageable object. Is that damageable? I think I saw Thing? I don't know. Lethal. That's the word I was looking for. Now some shots to the uh, shots to the champion here. Chair is picked up. What is Travis thinking? For reverse. Over 20 years, Monday night has been the premier night in all of sports entertainment. Oh, another reversal by King Sam. Very good at that reversing standards. stuff there. And Looks to steal the pin it. there, but the chair on. breaks it up. You remember that song back in the oh, and it, King Sam line. walked away from the chair. I don't think he realized. Intercepts the chair, slam down. And now what's he thinking of this doing? Is he going to pick it back so up? No. Nope. Instead slams him down. Huge slam down by King Sam. Count. He's got so many moves in his arsenal. That could be enough. It's not. Ryan Austin kicks out at the last minute there. And Travis taking a breather, maybe grabbing an object, because King Sam is in horror control. Hold on a minute. Oh, he's got him in a lock. He's got a submission locked in. This could be enough. Is King Sam been caught off guard here? And Travis can't seem to break it up, but he has got out of it. And now Travis. Power bomb. Gut wrench power bomb. And is he going to steal it? King Sam couldn't lose it here. If he doesn't get up, and he has done it. Travis comes in from out of nowhere. Stayed smartly out of the way of the fighting inside the ring. King Sam was weakened by Ryan by the hole. And that was a smart strategy to just come in and gut wrench power bomb him in the middle of the ring. And who would have thought that after such a terrible start to this fight, Travis... Would walk out the winner of this extreme war match. What does this mean for King Sam? He's now won one and lost one. Is the momentum going to swing? Is he at risk of losing?
was the first fight fluke? We'll never know, but first, let's continue the journey to find out who will face him at Buffer Festival. And now it's time for the semi-finals of tonight's tournament. I don't know why I said tonight. It's been stretching over the last two nights. It is Lanky Steen versus El Murica. The winner will be progressing to the number one contendership match for the World YouTube Wrestling Championship. And Lanky Steve looks ready to go. He's seen that King Sam has lost. He is weak in the eyes of his competitors. Can he the turn around and get revenge for the loss that he suffered that cost him the title the in the first place? Lanky Steve will be looking for the win. Super Can he go and get it? Of course, he's up against someone tonight who hasn't had a loss at all yet. His name is El Murica, representing, of course, Brendan Plays. Again, you can check his link out in the cha uh, his channel link in the description if you haven't heard of him, but of course you have because you're a WWE fan. And Please stop inviting me, people. You are killing the mood. And El Murica um, coming down oh now. God, the competitor, of course, who beat El Hurkan, or Travis as he was known in the first fight. He is 1-0. He is looking to go 2-0 tonight. Can he do that? We will find out soon enough for a spot in the finals of the of the tournament for this the World Youth Wrestling Championship. Mono, we kick test. it off here it's with a collar and elbow tire. And this should be an interesting rank, one. Two people who have proven their strength. The Lanky Steve, one of the done, most experienced fighters in the ring. This is fight time. number two, three for him, where it's fight number two for, uh, of course, um, El America. Is that extra fight going to give him the advantage in this one? Chucks him up and drops him down with a suplex. Now, King Sam, I it's a complicated one. I feel he didn't deserve to lose it. If it was a one-on-one, -on -one, he would have had him both, definitely. Clearly, he struggled with that one at times, but I felt it, he had majority control. He wasn't pinned, of course. It was Ryan that was pinned for the He'll second time in, in his Super Wrestling career. But Travis, granted, he chose his moment well. He stayed out of danger. The big hurricane rounder there from El Murica. He stayed out of danger, stayed out of his way, came in, got rich power bomb. WWE Ryan Austin, who was already weakened, and took full advantage of that fact. And El Murica, what's he thinking here? Tried to dodge it there, Steve. And another hurricane rounder there from El Murica. Nice bit of agility there, mixed with that high flying <laughs> nice instinct that El Murica must have in his head. Oh, wait a minute, huge reversal there in another Hurricane Rana, already doing some serious damage to the head no section of attack. Lanky Steve. Lanky Steve, of course, no stranger to the high flyer himself. We see him hitting the coup de grace in the last match. And now, he's going to look to flip him over. No pin. Usually that turns into a pin. He's done some damage, though. Lanky Steve is down. Oh, out of nowhere. oh huge reversal. Just jumps up. No one was expecting that. And El Murica reversed. Oh, I thought he was about to slam him down. Instead, he gets a cheap punch in, and he's probably going to be slammed down now. Nope, he's going for another Hurricane Runner. He has again loads of different variations of the Hurricane Runner there. But El Murica using his speed and agility to maneuver his way around the uh, man against him, Lanky Steve. Oh, no, the cover here. Is it enough? It's only two count, and those Hurricane Runners have not put him away. Maybe he needs something stronger. Kick to the back of Lanky Steve, who is not in good shape at all right now. He needs to figure out a way to get himself in this fight and get himself going. Because he is in serious trouble of losing it. El Murica. He's not giving him a second to breathe as he flips down onto his stomach. Another cover from El Murica. One. Two, and it's a two count from El Murica, trying to put this one away and progress to the finals of the no of the number one contenders tournament. Lanky Steve now. Oh wait a minute, he's caught him. Scoops him up and slams him back down. We see him do that move a couple of times in the last fight as well. Lanky Steve now. Maybe he could go for a spell of momentum. Can El Murica stop it though? Nope. Scoops him up. There it is, the super And a big kick. Super kick there from. Lanky Steve, that could easily be enough. Has he done enough damage to knock him down though? No, he hasn't. El Murica kicks out pretty easily at the count of two. Big kick in the back there for Lanky Steve, who's now not going to give a second for El Murica to recover. What's going to happen now? 
takes him over to the ring. To the side of the ring. Uh, frozen outside. And this big camera. Oh, what's Lanky Steve thinking here? He's looking confident. Look at the splash. He flies over the top rope and lands himself down on El Merca. Serious damage dealt there. And you feel that could have been it for El Merca, who is in serious trouble now. Lanky Steve coming out of nowhere right now. Flying. Look at him. No, give him a second. And El Merca is clearly struggling. Uh, struggling to stand as he's crashed into the announcer's table and now onto the concrete floor. And Steve gets back in the ring. But what's he thinking? Goes to the top rope. Turns the face. And a big elbow drop on the back of El Merca. That could have done some serious damage. Hold on a minute. Now what's, a, now what's he thinking? Where is America taking him? Takes him to this side of the ring. It back Chucks him back inside. So good thing. And, and elbow drops him on the, the edge the of the ring there. Well, we're on the move here. So El Merica with a good start. Lanky Steve now starting to do some damage. I think that's been the problem for El Merica so far. Hasn't done any really damaging one. moves. God, that's got oh. And yeah. his attempts to reverse that there. Look, Lanky Steve like brought him to the floor it. there. Looked like he slipped rather than he was connected. And now, what's El Merica going to do? Let's him get up. And that was clearly a mistake as, King, as Lanky Steve reverses it. They went for a kick. They miss each other. Not even connection with their own feet. Big spinning kick there by El Merica. And now, looking to get himself back in control of this one. Another big spinning kick sends him back down onto the canvas. And now he goes for it a second time. Big punches there by El Merica, who's really getting back in the swing of things. They both get inside. And now Lanky Steve looking to take advantage. DDT! Could be a cover. It was a big slam. No, no one's going to blame him for having to go. One, two, and it's a two count. And Lanky Steve's going to have to do more than that, you feel, to win this one. El Merica. Pressure being applied to either side of the head. That's going to do some damage. Everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. I want to see what Lanky oh, Steve's thinking. Is he going for the coup de grace? Is he going for the Lanky Steve coup de gras? He looked like he was planning to, but he's up. And he realized that and comes down. Hold on a minute. On the set walker. Nice. A I big, big slam. And that could be the end of it. Maybe Lanky it. Steve. Two. Down. But not out. A two and a half count there as he flips over his shoulder and slams him down. And now El Murica gets a momentum. What Huge punch there by Lanky Steve. Chucks him to the opposite he turnbuckle. Oh no, what's he thinking here? Showboat into the crowd oh, wow. and uppercuts him in the Drop. corner. And that was a hard, hard shot. Lanky Whoa. Stevenson momentum. Look oh, I'm looking to do the comeback move way. again. We've seen him do this. Yes. Series of shots and doing then doing followed by oh, a no, bicycle kick to the head. And now, is he going to try the coup de grace again? Hell Murica is in serious trouble of losing this match here. Can he land it? He splashes down on him. A cover. It wasn't the coup de grace that we saw last week. Two. It's enough. Lanky Steve has progressed to the next round of the tournament. He is in the finals and is one win away from becoming the number one contender for the World YouTube Wrestling Championship and facing King Sam at Buffer Festival. El Mirica oh, will be very disappointed with his efforts in this one. This he had a brief Let's moment. Oh, he had a great start to this fight. We see that bicycle kick there, send it into the canvas, and then a huge frog splash there from Lanky Steve. He was going to go for the coup de grace, you felt. Instead, he splashes down, and it was more than enough to put down El Mirica and Lanky Steve gets Here's momentum. Two wins in a row now. And is now in the finals of the tournament. If he wins the next fight, he will be the number one contender for the title. But the question is, who will he be facing? Let's find out in tonight's main event. And ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the final night of the evening here. It's been a great night here in Montreal, Canada. And now it's time for the technical main event. Of course, it's equally as important as the last fight. We see Lanky Steve go through, but who will face him in the number one contenders match next um, on, on the next show, which will be Friday Night Twitch. Here comes Blake Austin, Lightning Blake Austin, should I say. He's going to be looking to get some momentum here. The gaming Blake, of course, is my Twitter handle. Please go check me out on Twitter. It's also my YouTube name, if you haven't noticed. Be sure to subscribe to that as well. I hear it's a great channel. 
But regardless, look at him, he looks ready. He looks fired up. He looks like he is hungry for the title. Can Blake Austin win his own belt? First, he has to get past two men. And first person, that first man is this man, David, stepping out to the ring. He's suffered a loss in the Fatal 4-Way as did Blake, and now he gets his chance to He's Blaine Blake, so can he win against Blake and stop assigning Blaine and prove that, of course, it was not him that lost, it was Blake that lost. Blake, of course, with the current record for the fastest match you can in history. Who right knows how long this, this one could be? This, this one be could so go bad. on for another 10 one minutes. One. You never one know. One. But we have kicked off, and who will be facing Lanky Steve in the next round of the tournament? Let's have a look and see. David getting some early damage in, and it's important to do that in it special matches like these. This. this is an important match. The winner of this match will become uh, is one step away from player. being exactly the number one the contender. Blake hesitated for a second there and reversed the move. A reversal by David. Now David clearly is a he strength man, whereas Austin is a speed ring. man. And, and of course he has that pop-up finisher um, of the little Jimmy, which can be hit at any time as we've seen over the course of the last couple of days. I took a long time to create my character's image and the lightning Blake Austin is what was born. One win, one loss. And of course, that loss was his fault. It's an amazing which, of course, he was pinned. Tonight. David, oh, yeah, very angry about that. He has his chance at revenge no tonight. A series of reversals. These two are this really going into this reversal battle here. Another reversal. But this time, he's not reversing it. As Austin picks up his leg. And a big power bomb great. down that there by Blake by Austin. Who is looking pretty good to start off. Flips down on him. Big flip there. My guy is pretty tall. I'm not that tall in real life, obviously. But everybody's an exaggeration in the video game. So let's have a look. Looking to be what's like thinking now. It doesn't Turns him around. Powers him down. And he's getting some damage done quick. I think that's why he's so uh, why he was so he's quick last week. He won the fight in three here. minutes because he just did the damage, hit the little Jimmy, and ended the fight. He isn't messing around. He isn't letting anyone have a share of momentum. Chucks him into the corner. We all know what this means. Is he looking for the whisper to win? No, he isn't. He just smacks him in the cross the face with the backhand there for a chop. Whichever you, way you saw it. And now what's he thinking? Sends him to the corner again. This time he could be looking for the little, for the whisper in the wind. Uh -oh. oh, he's hit it again! Whisper in the wind! And like once again taking no time to resort to his signature move, the Whisper the in the Wind. It didn't finish off Ryan, but is he going to finish off Dave? It's a two and a half count. He hasn't finished it, and Blake thought he had finished it. But the question is, can he, what can he do from here? Can he carry this momentum? Can he go to win it? What's he thinking here? Chucks him on the rope. Sits him down. And now what's he doing? Ooh, he uses a rope to jump off there. And he's doing some more damage before jumping onto the little Jimmy. Which is what he didn't do against Ryan. He just went straight to the little Jimmy. And now what's he thinking? Throws him back on the rope. But this time David reversing. Says enough is enough. It's time for me to get some action. And chucks him back in the ring. He isn't wanting to take this one outside. Which you'd actually think wouldn't be the case for someone like David. He looks like the baller kind of tight. Oh, hang on, we That's see this last week as well. It's a submission hold of David, and can he do it? I think I'm going to call that the Sling of David, you know? I think I like that. The Sling of David, he slings him over his shoulder and then grabs hold of him by the arm. I'm calling it that. I don't care if you don't like it. But I like it. I'm calling that the Sling of David because I don't know what he's called. If you like that, let me know. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember, if we can hit 10 likes, that would be terrific. Last time we hit nearly 20, which is a fantastic feat. Biggest like button like splash on the channel oh wait a minute little oh i thought he was going for little jimmy instead hurricane ron is him oh my god i got really excited there i thought he was going to hit it he's looking good he's looking ready to finish this one off but he's making sure the deed is definitely about to be done david not really had a spell since the opening of this fight he had a few moves here and there but now what's austin looking to do is he going for little jimmy again no he picks him up this time punches him and now what's he thinking? Oh, is he going to suplex him? He's going to suplex Another him amazing. outside! And that Look must have hurt them oh, both. That must have done in the spine of Blake Austin. But he's up quick. 
He clearly knew what he was doing, and David must be done by the end of this. The damage has definitely been done. He's thrown into the barricade there. And dropped onto the top of it. And a stun gun on the barricade. Never a pretty thing. Now David now could be looking to get a, a spell of momentum. Series of punches to the face. Gets back inside to avoid a, uh, a count out. Dragged into the middle of the ring. Oh, big reversal and a power bomb there. And now can David get some momentum going? Steps outside. What's he thinking? He approaches the announcer table so and he's ripping it down. WWE Hall of this is a dangerous Bruno move. Remember, count this is no disqualification, which means he can be counted out. What's he looking to do? He's ripped it off, but then chucked him back in the ring. I'm not sure what David's thinking the there, but JR's hat, uh, JR, JBL's hat he's flying around the ring. Oh, and a big drop on the back there with the elbow of uh, Dave's there in the back. That and now move. David, looking to gain some control. He's taking some there. serious hits, but he looks to put this one away. What's he thinking? He could be looking to put this one away. This little Jimmy Someone's stole the little Jimmy. I don't know, Dylan, think Austin man, was prepared for that. that. He had stolen the little Jimmy from him. Is that enough to send him to the final? It is. Winner, Blake has been defeated by his own finishing move for little Jimmy. And I think I David was planning to put him through the table, but instead went the quick way around it. And the little Here's Jimmy was enough to send David Steve. through to the next round. He will be facing Lanky Steve in the final of the tournament. Uh, question is, who will be the number one contender? You will find out on Friday Night Switch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see the next one, see how the tournament goes, see how you guys um, get involved again. Be sure to send in your characters to the hashtag Dump Squad or contact me on Twitter and we can sort you out a character in this series. That is it for me today. And good night, people.